and I don't know where to lead from that, apparently. What am I talking about? Damn. Hey Munchies, it's the Gamer Untamed, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 upcoming video games that I'm really excited about for 2016. I can't believe I'm saying 2016, I keep writing 2015 everywhere. But these games definitely vary over a range of genres, and unfortunately some of them I actually, uh, maybe one of them, I can't even actually play, but I'm just so excited about it, and I think if anyone knows me, they should know what my number one excited game is definitely going to be. And I'm pretty sure by the time it comes out, I won't even be able to play it yet, which is really, really just disheartening. But let's get to it. So number five is Tom Clancy's The Division, which is coming out on March the 8th, 2016. And it's a Ubisoft creation that is a role-playing shooter with survival elements that's set in open world and is third person. It's a lot of different elements all combined into one, and it's taken a long time to get here since being released at E3 in 2013, and we finally have it here this year. Hopefully there'll be no more delays, no more any mishaps that's going to happen, and it'll just come out when it's supposed to be released. So the plot of Tom Clancy's Division is essentially this. An epidemic spreads on Black Friday and causes the United States government to collapse in a period of five days. One by one, the basic necessities that are required for people to survive fail. And as a last resort, you as the player are part of the Strategic Homeland Division, SHD, and are tasked with piecing the, the city back together and preventing society from falling apart, and this is all set in New York, by the way. But unfortunately, of course, as many games, you have alternate plot points, you find yourself stuck in this conspiracy that revolves around this epidemic, and you're just like, what the frick do I do now? But what I'm really excited for about this game, and what makes me really want to purchase this game, is the gameplay, and the visuals. I mean, this game is made for the next generation consoles and, and of course the PC, but let's be real. The graphics are even going to be ten times better than what we've seen on console because it's PC. I mean, let's be honest, it's PC. But the gameplay, although the, the main core mechanics are similar to that of, you know, other third person shooters, it feels so fluid and vibrant and the world looks amazing. I mean, you're in this depleted atmosphere, sort of almost post-apocalyptic universe where everything is almost dead and there's lots of disease hanging around so you probably don't want to take any masks off here. But yet the world looks beautiful, there's snow in some places, you get to go on the underground, roam across this open span of New York City and I'm like, I'm envious. And number four is Dishonored 2, which is an upcoming action-adventure stealth role-playing game that's developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda. I'm really excited for this one. I really enjoyed Dishonored, the original game. I thought the story was really captivating and the gameplay was really fluid and fantastic. This game is uh, scheduled for release in spring of 2016. I'm not entirely sure what that means for Australia. I think it's autumn. Time zones, what are you doing? Dishonored 2 was released, and the information for it anyway, at E3 last year, and I'm going to inform you about some of the things that we can expect from Dishonored 2 that I'm really, really excited for. So, the game takes place 15 years after the finale of the original game, and it starts off with a day in the life of what it's like to be Empress Emily Caldwin, who was the little girl who was kidnapped in the original game. And of course, we have another otherworldly usurper come to seize the throne, typical. We both, uh, the players, not we both, the players get to play as both Emily and Corvo, so Corvo is returning, and it's set in a different city, it's set in, hold on, I'm looking at my notes, Kanaka, the capital of Sokonos, and it's also facing another epidemic like Dunwell. And instead of an epidemic of, you know, a plague of rats, it's a plague with blood flies, which is just delicious. So that's what I'm really excited for. That's just a few things of the things I'm excited for. But I think we have a lot to expect from this game. Anyone who, are, who is a fan of Bethesda's work puts a lot of pressure on themselves about expectations with their games. 
but I am really excited. Number three is Uncharted A Thief's End, and this is the game that I cannot even play because I don't have a PS4. It is an action-adventure, third-person shooter platform game that is published by Naughty Dog, or developed by Naughty Dog, not published, it's published by Sony. They also created The Last of Us, which I absolutely loved last year. Last year? Oh my god, I can't even remember. I am in love with Uncharted. I have watched the cutscenes, the cutscene movie for every single one of the games. Nathan Drake and Elena's relationship is so authentic and real. Oh my goodness, I love the characters in this video game. Naughty Dog are fantastic at creating wonderful motion capture with their character interactions. Oh my goodness. So Uncharted 4 is set three years after the events of Uncharted 3 Drake's deception with Nathan Drake having settled down into a normal life. He's now a retired fortune hunter with his wife Elena Fisher. Oh my god. But of course, as typical Nathan Drake stories go, what's happened to him? He's, he's found out that his older brother Sam, who was long believed to be dead, is no longer dead and has basically he's, he's seeking his help and of course this leads Nathan Drake on this long journey to find some mystery treasure but instead it's a lost pirate colony of something that I'm not even going to attempt to name because I'm going to butcher its name and of course we have all these physical challenges, these mental challenges, losing people we might love, I don't know, risks. Sully's back. Ah, I love this series. So number two, and I promise we're almost done, we've almost reached number one, it's Deus Ex Mankind Divided, that is a cyberpunk themed action stealth role playing game that combines all the features of that into this first person-ish shooter, and it's going to be released on August the 23rd across all platforms, that's uh, the next gen platforms and PC. I am so, so excited, it's set three years after the events of um, Deus Ex Human Revolution, and I love this genre. Cyberpunk is almost my favourite thing. I love this type of futuristic genre. There is a tap going. After the events of Human Revolution, more people are against augmentations than they've ever been before and this attitude has been given flame and has been encouraged by the, Ill the Illuminati. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate that. This game has incorporated the Illuminati. That is hilarious. Anyway, uh, Mankind Divided is set in 2029 in the Czech Republic in the capital of Prague, which is really cool. I mean, really, Prague. And it's actually set two years after the events, not three of the original game. It's not the original game, the last one. And we have Adam Jensen is back as the protagonist who is working with a coalition to fight terrorist attacks. And I just have to say that there is a theme going on here. All this terrorism in film, in video games, in books, stop it. <laughs> so Adam Jensen is also working as a double agent for two organisations. Uh, what else? We have augmented persons are now automatically terrorists. That's encouragement for the future, for the Middle East. Just get augmented and you'll be twice as dangerous as you would have ever been. And if you guys haven't figured it out already, my most excited game that is going to be coming out this year, number one, Mass Effect Andromeda. And unfortunately, we don't actually know that much about the game, aside from it's supposed to come out this year. Please come out this year. It's set in the Andromeda Galaxy, and you either get to play a man or a woman. Mass Effect Andromeda is an action role-playing third-person shooter developed by Bioware and published by EA and it's going to be released across all platforms, PS4, Xbox One and PC of course and it's being made with the Frostbite 3 engine which is going to be amazing and it's going to look beautiful. Um, this game is a sequel to Mass Effect 3 and it was released the information for it was released at E3 last year. I am so excited. The trailer I watched, I think, 10 times. I'm trying to pinpoint what is going to happen, what could possibly happen. 
It's so disappointing that we really know nothing about this game aside from the fact that we're going to be exploring a whole new galaxy, there's going to be a new Mako, god forbid, and we're going to be falling in love with a whole new set of characters. A couple of days ago, actually, the developers of Bioware tweeted out who are working on this game that have played th through the first hour, and someone said that we're going to be able to, you know, shoot things in the face. That's pretty exciting. I am so excited, and if, they, if it doesn't come out this year, I'm probably just going to crap and cry. But that's it! That is my top five uh, video games that are coming out this year that I'm really excited for, even if I don't get to play it. Naughty Dog. Why? Um, I hope you liked this video. It was very rambly, of course, because apparently I can't do anything without pre-prepping as everything else is done because I've already written reviews for it. Regardless, I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with all your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really love that. And I will possibly be seeing you guys sooner than you think because Golden Glo Globes is coming out. And I want to stream the Globes because we don't get it on TV in Australia. And that would be really awesome if I could just put it on YouTube with my reaction. Because I'm so excited. Michael Fassbender is nominated. The joy. Even though it's got nothing to do with me. But I might be doing another video about that maybe in the middle of the week. About the results. If I can't do what I actually plan to do. Regardless, I will see you guys next week. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.